record for a little bit because um, my stomach is really, really hurting me. Right now, I am feeling a lot of discomfort. I don't really know how to label it. It's just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hurting. And they gave, they gave me something in my IV, but it definitely is not helping with anything. I'm being so honest. Um, really, really in so much pain. I bought, I bought some of my own pain medicine, but we can't take anything other than um, liquids when it comes to, or a shot of something. I can't take any pills, so I can't even take my medicine that I bought because I can't swallow anything. Um, I can't even drink any water, broth, juice, anything today. So the day of surgery, the only thing we can have is ice. So I've been chewing on ice like crazy, but um, honestly, I'm not even hungry. I don't even want chicken broth, beef. I don't want anything that has to do with like food or, or anything because my stomach is hurting. It feels bloated and it's that time of the month. So I'm even like feeling 10 times probably worse than some of the other women who are here Happy feel good. You. Are you okay? One second. Okay, so honestly, this is about to be really dark, but I really wanted to finish this video because I'm about to go to sleep and I really don't have much to say, but the nurse walked in and she turned the light off and I don't have the energy to kind of to get up and turn it back on you guys. I'm so, so, so sorry that I'm talking to you in the dark. But um, I think the only thing I was just trying to tell you is that, yes, I am feeling it. Um, I know the back of my back was hurting for a bit and like my shoulder around this part was really hurting. So whatever she gave me in my IV, it helped with that pain, but my stomach is just really, I'm, I'm, I'm in like just more discomfort than anything. Not just like, oh, I'm in pain. It's just, I don't know. It's just very uncomfortable. I can't even explain it. Um, but yeah, I can only eat ice. So I've been eating ice like crazy. And I'm not a like ice person. I don't just chew ice, but I've been chewing the heck out of this ice because not only does my stomach hurt, but everyone has like cotton mouth. Like my throat feels like it um, it hurts, but it doesn't hurt. It just has a feeling of it. I don't know if you guys know that experience, but it, it just feels like it hurts. It feels like it's sore, but when I chew the ice and stuff, it just really soothes it out and makes it feel better. Um, also because of the IV that I have in, this is the second one that I've had in. I definitely go, I'm going to the restroom a lot, um, but that's really good, I'm guessing. And I did walk just a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I'm talking about like from my bed to outside my door, back to my bed, outside my door. That's just a little bit. It's like, I'm really, I don't have the energy or anything to do much more and I'm not gonna push myself, but yeah, it's getting really, really dark in here now. And at this point, I shouldn't even record anymore. So, uh, yeah, this is day one. Good night, you guys.
guys so i just wanted to hop on here really really quick to um i feel like i don't know i feel like today is a really hard day for me i feel like crying i feel like i'm on some type of emotional roller coaster it's like i don't know if you guys have experienced a feeling to where it's like you don't even really know what's going on or how to voice or explain the emotions or feelings that you're going through but if i don't i don't even know how to explain it but like i feel like i don't know it's just been an emotional roller coaster like i woke up starving so hungry these past few days, I've been doing good. Like, even if I get hungry, I try to drink something. I eat something. Like, I, even when I woke up, I was drinking a little bit of my tea that I have. And I'm drinking a Diet Lipton um, Citrus Tea, which is really, really good, for, by the way. But it's just nothing was helping today. Nothing. I just kept thinking about just hungry. I'm just, I felt like I was just starving. So, I guess having those cravings of food and stuff today is the first day that i've actually really just wanted to really eat it was to the point to where i was really hungry i sat in i was in my bathroom and i just kind of sat on the side of my tub right before i got in the shower and i, I had a moment because it's like it's tougher than what I thought, even though I've watched several videos on this. I've listened to so many stories. I've read so many things to try to mentally prepare myself, but it's still a different type of roller coaster. It's a different type of ride once you are actually on it. So just remember that. Just remember that you can watch as many videos I'm, I'm thankful that you guys watch me and listen to me and want to follow my journey, but also prepare yourself to know that you are gonna go through your own journey personally when you go through this. So I don't know how you would feel. I don't even know if you you may or may not hit this stage that I'm in, but if you do just know that, I mean, I'm making it, I'm going to get through, I'm pushing through, I did not eat anything. I'm First of all, I'm scared to even try to put any type of whole food in my mouth because I have weeks before I can even eat anything that's solid. And that's what I mean by, by whole foods, like any solid food. I have, I have like one or like two more weeks before I can even try to eat any type of, you know, uh, solids. So I wouldn't even try to be honest. And I grabbed my Jello that I told you guys that I like to eat because this is what I can eat right now. And I'm so hungry, clearly in my head or my feeling, or I don't even know what to call it. I just know that I feel that I'm hungry, but when I eat, I can't even finish this. I'm My stomach is full. My sleeve is full, clearly. I, I can't even finish my jello. And that's a part of what I'm talking about when I say that this has been like an emotional roller coaster because I feel so hungry, but when I'm eating, I can't finish it. I can't finish my food and I'm, I can't force it. So that is that is why I say you have to make sure mentally to prepare yourself because I think that you the first thing is like, what's going on? Why? Why do I feel hungry, but why can't I finish my food? And I just finished the same thing yesterday. Um, it's probably no answer to it. It's just, that's what's just gonna happen, I'm guessing. This is just a part of the journey. Um, no matter what, I'm super, 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 super happy that I made this decision. This is like, I feel like one of the best decisions I've ever made because it is, it's life changing and it really shows the strength. I have more strength than what I think because I'm sitting here like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I haven't been eating food. I mean, I've been eating food, but not solids. I can't believe that I'm not stuffing my face right now. Like how hungry I feel. Normally I'm like, you know what? Let me at least go make me some French toast, some waffles, 
bacon, it, I mean, anything. And it sounds so good even saying it right now, but looking at it, I don't even want it. <sighs> it's a process, but it's a process that I am willing and I'm happy to be going through. So today begins day seven that I am post-op from VSG surgery. And I'm gonna show you guys what I have to eat.